Still to come tonight, we get an exclusive look behind the scenes of the new EastEnders set. But first... Now, as of next Monday, there are some changes to the BBC One schedule. Don't worry now, we'll still be here 7 o'clock every night. But EastEnders now has a regular slot, so you always know where you are. It's right after us, 7.30, Monday to Thursday. And alongside their new slot, the residents of Albert Square have got a new home. Take a look at this. It's a time-lapse showing the car park at BBC L Street being turned into the most famous square in the country. And we sent former EastEnders bad boy Martin Kemp to check out the brand new set. For nearly 40 years, EastEnders has been coming to our screens from Albert Square. You're a small time, Phil. You always have been, always will be. I love my time on the square. I was here playing Steve Owen for just over three years. And the set, it was like a second home to me and to all the other actors that came through. So I am so excited to take an exclusive first look at this brand new set. When the old set was constructed back in 1984, it was built to last for just two years. 37 years later, a new one was long overdue. It doesn't look any different, does it? But this is the new set. Now, if you can't spot the difference, the same as me, then the team that have been working on it over the last few years have done their job absolutely perfectly. Someone who knows every inch of this new East End better than anyone is my old mate, production manager, Rona McKendrick. Was it a very difficult decision to build a new set? The old one really was not fit for purpose anymore. It was really made of, of wood and plastic. Where chimneys are actually made of, of, uh, of wood, in, they were rotting and the, and the water was beginning to get into them. So in high winds, the chimneys would wobble. It became unsafe for us to shoot on. Have you brought things over from the old set, as much migrated? All the stalls are the same, the signs are the same. It's all come from the old lot onto this new lot. But some things have changed. This set has been designed to be easier to work on. The sets are now warm inside, so that if we were doing a scene in a restaurant, we wouldn't see your breath as you're eating because it's so actual cold inside. I remember that really well because we were always told to chew on a little bit of ice yeah. so you get rid of the yeah, steam coming yeah. out your mouth. Yeah. I always remember that. <laughs> a job like this doesn't come cheap, but filming here is more cost effective. In the old lot, we had to shoot twice when we were shooting doorway scenes. We had to shoot once in the studio, looking inwards, and once on the lot, looking outwards. However, this way, we can shoot it all once here. Let me show you. The old houses were just frontages. Now they're bricks and mortar buildings. Put the kettle on then, Rona. I will. <sighs> the new set is all about future-proofing the soap and making filming easier for cast and crew. Since the very first episode, the heart of Albert Square has been the Queen Vic. His current landlady is Linda Carter, played by Kelly Bright. I have strong memories of the old set. Running through the Bridge Street, pitch black, October, freezing cold, rain machine. It was a long night, but it was a sort of magical night. There was something about it that I'll never forget. But it's by day that the set is under most scrutiny, and huge attention has gone into making sure that the new set is indistinguishable from the old, even down to the plants and trees. We were tasked by the series designer to match the kink in the trunk. When we went down to our greenery suppliers, they drove us out to a hedgerow and he said, I think that's a perfect tree for you. <laughs> it was an effort getting it in, but we finally got it in and it did leaf last year, so we know it's alive. I've already paid once, I ain't got no more money. Ah. One of today's longest running residents is the indomitable Stacey Slater, played by Lacey Turner. Get back here! Try and catch me, you big fat legs! I gave you everything! You know what? Her ex-husband is Martin Fowler, played by James Byer. And you ain't having this house! It's nice to have, like, a few new bits, like we've got Chinese now and, uh key cutters and stuff like that, it's, yeah. it's nice. Yeah. The old set's obviously always going to have those memories. Like we've had, we had some lovely stuff up yeah. on the old Vic roof, which we'll always hold on to. And, but, I mean, you know, the new set, it's open for new stories to happen, yeah. and we're excited about, you know, what it's going to bring. It's amazing that the team has kept the feel for the square, yet built it completely from scratch. This is a new era for EastEnders. And if I can't tell the difference, 
I bet you can't too. Right, that's it. I'm going to the bit for a pint. Let's just hope Phil Mitchell's not in there.